Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house, his disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said and replied, He who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin, and all evildoers. They will throw them into their fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whoever has ears oath to hear the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we see that Jesus explains what the parable means to his disciples. And there are many people who reject the existence of hell, the existence of eternal punishment, that is, absence of love, absence of presence of God. Dear brothers and sisters, today let us meditate also in the reality of death and judgment. In today's world, we often lose sight of the reality of our mortality. Death is an inevitable door that everyone regardless of their beliefs, must pass through, must face. However, it is not the end. Death is not the end. Death is merely a threshold leading us to a personal judgment before God. We must all account for our own actions, including both the good we have done and the evil and good that we have negligent. The Gospel warned us that those who have done wrong, those who have acted with iniquity, will be cast into the fire. There will be weeping and grinding of teeth. It is essential that we periodically question our actions and let us say, Lord, does this please you? What I'm doing, where I'm going with my life, is this pleasing you, my Lord? We should approach God not out of fear of condemnation or seek temporary benefits such as solution to personal problems, but out of sincere gratitude. As Saint Julian of Toledo said, Men strive not to die, but to live forever. And he does not strive not to sin, even though he is to live eternity. These words invite us to reflect on our tendency to focus on prolonging earthly life while neglecting the harm we do to God with our actions. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us strive to be grateful children and to do good, to recognize the health is a reality, not a faith. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father.